Good morning, Stacy. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. And how about yourself? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, let's start by having you tell us uh, who you are and what you do. All righty. My name is Stacy Kalemi, and I'm a health coach, and I work on helping people learn how to heal their body naturally and focus on preventing illness through using different types of alternative medicine and focus on different ways to prevent illness and maintain optimal health. Amazing. I love it. Um, who or what motivated you to get into the health field? Well, when I was five years old, I developed epilepsy from a virus called encephalitis. The virus had traveled to my brain and caused scar tissue damage. Until this day, they can't find the scar tissue damage in my brain, but it left me with epilepsy, and I struggled with having seizures throughout my whole life. Now, when I went to college, I was struggling a lot because through the stresses of uh, late night studying and the tests and everything, um, I was having a lot of seizures. So I had written to the Epilepsy Foundation and and I asked them to publish a little article about um, how others cope with epilepsy. And I, you know, to my surprise, I received over um, hundreds of letters, like three to four hundred letters from people all over the United States and Canada sharing with me how they cope with epilepsy and what they do to uh, live with a disorder. And it was so inspiring and it was so motivational. And I took a lot of the information that they provided me with and I applied it to my own life. And what a traumatic change. It really helped me and it helped me get through college. And I was so inspired that I started actually writing a book called Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. Mm -hmm. But when I got out of college, I had start, started to work for an herbalist. And I started using a lot of the information I was doing. I was doing a lot of research for him and writing for him. And um, I used a lot of the information I learned. To, and I applied it to my own life. And to my surprise, I, my seizures started to decrease. They went from, let's say, nine seizures to six seizures to three seizures to none. And, you know, my seizures now are controlled, and I live an amazing life now. And, and you know, it was just a, a real wake-up call how, you know, using different natural and alternative ways of changing your lifestyle can have such an impact on your health. So what I did was I started... Um, a little blog on Blogger and on Google, and I started, maybe 400 people started coming on, and then all of a sudden it blew up and it went from 4,400 to 10,000 to over 100,000 people, and that's how we started, and we just, you know, and then I realized, you know, it doesn't have to focus on epilepsy. If this could help me, why can't it help people with, let's say, diabetes or mm -hmm. cancer or any illness or any type of condition that people are struggling with, um, you know, different uh, natural ways uh of using alternative medicine and using food for medicine and, and different supplements could have a huge impact on people's lives. And, you know, that's how I started with my website. And I do a lot of um, speaking. I work with organizations. And I've been on the Dr. Oz show to speak on uh, different natural uh, alternatives. And, you know, this is how it all began. And, you know, I'm really passionate about what I do. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it help so many people. And I've received so many letters from people thanking me for the information that I provide. So it's a really uh, exciting field and it's really, uh, you know, you really do feel that you're doing something good for the, for the world when you do something like this. Yes, I love that. I mean, the, the health and fitness world is really one of the most giving and inspiring communities out there. Like we just want to help people live their best life. Um, I mean, exactly. we, we only get one body and we only get one lifetime as far as we know. So the exactly. best way to, I mean, really the best way to do that is just feed your body the good things and move, move in a way that really suits it, like really uh, serves your body and serves you. Um, yes. Go ahead. Oh, what I was going to say is what people don't realize is what we put into our body has such a huge mm -hmm. impact on our health and the way we feel. And uh, sometimes people, you know, take that for granted and they don't realize, you know, the impact of certain foods and certain mm -hmm. ways of living, how it actually impacts your health. And, you know, that's what, you know, what's uh, great is that, you know, we can, you know, teach people about, you know, what certain foods aren't good for you and what certain foods are good for you and how it, it can impact you and, and you know, how it could decrease your energy or, you know, you know, cause, you know, illness after so many years and, you know, that, you know, so many people in our world suffer from diabetes mm -hmm. and suffer from 
illnesses that could, you know, be prevented, you know, with a few lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. Um, Is epilepsy something you were able to cure or is it being managed by your lifestyle now? Epilepsy is a disorder that can't be cured, but it can be managed. Um, You know, the goal is to help people um, control their seizures so they don't have seizures. But Mm -hmm. you have to live, you know, a a lifestyle that works for you. And, you know, every day, you know, you always have the fear of something could happen. But, you know, right now my seizures are controlled. And I just continue to live the lifestyle that I'm living and do the things I do. And it's uh, it's working for me. Awesome. And I'm assuming you didn't... er you might have started off with prescriptions, but now you live without prescriptions. Would you agree? Oh no, I still I still take my medication. Okay. Now without my medication, I pro- I probably would have seizures. But using the medication, using the supplements, detoxing, mm-hmm. and living the lifestyle and changing things in my life have helped me control my seizures. So it's a for me, it was a combination. Okay. Um, you know, I needed both. You know, I needed you know to actually change my entire lifestyle and my way of living, and I needed the medication as well okay have you done research that would allow that has allowed others to go off medication or would allow you I you know I'm doing so well that I wouldn't even want to tamper in that yeah you know field um but for us you know that others have tried uh, the usage of uh, medical marijuana or CBD, mm-hmm. and some people have told me that they've had a lot of success doing that. Mm-hmm. I love CBD. It's one of my favorite supplements. For, I mean, it's one of the one of the only supplements I consider a, a miracle um, worker because it just does so many cool things and it's so natural. And I love CBD. Um, so you you kind of motivated yourself to. Uh, um, you know, fix your life and become more holistic and healthy. Um, and that, and I'm sure that, I mean, it really does come from within to be motivated. You can't usually have some other extrinsic factor. Um, but what kind of strategies did you start using to turn your life around? Was it, cause I'm a big, I'm a big supporter of small steps, make big changes. Um, right. so what kind of strategy did you use to, uh, to start turning your life around? Well, first I changed my eating habits. First, I, the first thing I did actually was I detoxed my body. I, you know, I I took out all the toxins because people don't realize that we carry so many toxins between the world we live in, the air we breathe, the um, the things that we use, even the makeup and and the cosmetics and the creams and moisturizers. Every if you don't buy the right things, every a lot of these things have toxins. We mm-hmm. breathe in the air, you know, in the polluted air. With, you know, so, so many things build up in our system. And the foods we eat, the ingredients, the artificial ingredients, you know, there's so much processed food in the United States. All these things build up in our bodies. And, you know, when our bodies get these toxins, they don't know what to do with it. You know, they, to, to them, it, it's just unnatural. And they, they don't know how to break it down. So mm-hmm. a lot of times, all these toxins get stored in our body. And what happens is it's like an overload, a, a toxic overload. And then your organs and start to become sluggish and you don't operate the way you normally would if you had a cleansed body and then you'll you know a lot of people notice they start gaining weight and they feel a really a lack of energy and they're just not you know they're, they're noticing a lot of you know unhealthy changes in their body but if you did take different ways um, to detox your body and then you start eating right mm-hmm. you'll notice a huge change you'll notice an increase in energy some might you know realize you know, they're, they're experiencing some weight loss, you know, you'll be more focused, your mind will be, you know, more, more on tune, you know, and you'll see a lot of uh, different positive changes just from detoxifying your body and keeping your body detox through e- eating the right foods and mm-hmm. from exercising and just doing the right thing. Also, you know, I, I feel that people really need to uh, understand that sleep is also very important. Mm-hmm. Sleep is, a, is something that our body needs to rejuvenate itself. And a lot of times people take this for granted or they have trouble sleeping. So many people, you know, in, in the United States and around the world suffer from insomnia mm-hmm. and suffer from, you know, having difficulty sleeping. Because as we get older, we produce less melatonin. And the problem with that is when you don't have a good amount of melatonin in your body, you know, you tend to have difficulty falling asleep so when you don't have enough of sleep that puts stress on the body your Mm -hmm. body doesn't have a chance to rejuvenate itself and that itself can cause illness um 
and and just the you know from from the world we live in not being able to focus on how to cope with stress you know stress is you know a lot of people don't realize that 90 percent of the illnesses are caused by stress mm-hmm. so we really need to think you know how to cope with stress you know in our lives you know how do we you know not let the little things in life get us overboard you know how do we focus on you know because life is just full of stresses and obstacles and we have to really learn how to deal with life in general so you know you know what's more important our health or letting stress get to us and then we suffer from all these different things caused by stress so these are some of the first things you have to really focus on so one is detoxification two is you know eating right three is getting the proper exercise and you don't have to go to the gym for two hours just incorporating some healthy exercise exercise and like walking you know just any light exercise and even 15 minutes a day is, is great you know to start with you just have to start you know start you know using your body and you know getting out the toxins a little sweat you know and and that's a good thing and then like we mentioned that you eating you learn how to eat healthy and then coping with stress you know these are these are certain functions if we start focusing on this and improving these things in our life you'll definitely see a huge change I am nodding my head vigorously because I totally agree with everything. It starts with sleep. It starts with um, putting the right energies and foods into your body. It comes, it begins with reducing the stresses. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's all encompassing. And I've, uh, whenever I do these interviews and I, and I talk to people, I'm like, there's so many different ways you can be healthy, but it's so simple too. I mean, you can really come up with just with less than 10 pillars to really keep yourself healthy and keep yourself aligned and keep your body in a homeostasis. Um, exactly. When you talk about detoxing, what kind of detoxing do you recommend or did you do or have you found is a best practice? Well, what I did is I started um, including some fiber in my diet. I started drinking a lot more water a day. I started using milk thistle, which is great for um, detoxification and mm-hmm. cleansing out the liver. And um, I also started using it was a whole body cleanse um, supplement. And it had a lot of different uh, ingredients in it that helped to cleanse the body, to help just remove toxins from the body and also um, using a colon cleanse to get a lot of the toxins out. People don't realize it, but we store over 12 to 15 pounds of um, feces in our in our colon. And, you know, all those toxins actually affect many different parts of the body. So, you know, you really need to cleanse out all the, the detox, the water, using, you know, maybe using supplements. Some people don't want to use supplements. Well, you could use food also. You can, you know, you can compensate, you know, but sometimes, you know, certain things, uh, you know, a, you need a supplement because, you know, like, you know, um, like the acacia berries, you know, you would need like, you know, tons and tons of, of you know, to eat tons and tons of those berries in order to, to use it for detoxification. So people would use a supplement for that, mm-hmm. you know. So there, there are certain things you, you really do need to focus on using a supplement. And there's certain things you can get these things just from food itself. Yeah, I agree. I mean, supplements do get a bad rep sometimes. And, and it's it just comes down to doing a little bit of research of what you are and are not putting in your body. But I definitely agree. There's some supplements that are just, they're really game changers because they're really going to maximize the amount of nutrients you're able to get into your body. And and I agree. I mean, you would have to eat pounds and pounds of specific nutrients um, or foods to get the nutrients that you need. And so supplements are just sometimes the best way to go about actually getting them into your system without overloading, um, in yeah. a, you know, in a stomach sense, you know. Um, I I love that. And I love that you mentioned that it's sometimes it's about adding and it's not about taking away, you know, I think with a lot of diets or in we're we're in the Lenten season or just all these different viewpoints, it's about what can I eliminate? What can I take away? What can I take away? Yes, there are some things that you should cut out or cut back on. But at the end of the day, a lot of times it's just about adding. And I have found more times than not with myself, with my clients, with my family, that when you add the right nutrients, your body, your body naturally just kind of decides for itself, like, no, you don't need that. Instead of telling yourself, no, I'm not going to eat this ice cream. Your body kind of just makes the natural decision to be like, I don't want that. And I think that's, I think that's what something that people need to understand is when you do start adding these beneficial nutrients and energies into your body, 
um, your body kind of helps you make the decision for yourself. And then it, it helps with the mental aspect instead of being like, Oh gosh, it's on my no list. I cannot have it. I cannot do this. You know? Um, I think, I think once we start adding in and understanding what is good for our body, our body does the natural process of being like, I don't, I don't think I want that. Maybe I'd rather have some strawberries for dessert in, instead of strawberry ice cream. <laughs> well, you know, like, like well, certain foods actually trigger cravings and certain foods, you know, make you want more. Mm-hmm. And you also notice too, when you change your eating habits, your stomach starts to shrink and you don't want as much food and you don't crave, mm-hmm. you know, for um, certain foods as you used to crave for certain foods. And, you know, um, and also it's also the motivational. When you start eating right, and you start seeing, you know, your body maybe drops a few pounds. That's motivational. Say, hey, you know, mm-hmm. you know, this is good. My body's agreeing with this. I'm losing weight. All right, I'm going to keep doing this. You yeah. know, and you'll start noticing you won't have such a crave for carbs and a crave for sugar when you focus more on the proteins and the greens and you know certain fruits that aren't really so high in the sugar content. You know, um, and just you know focusing on foods that just don't you know always turn to sugar. You know, certain foods have more sugar. You know, and, and and you have, you know, you have to like focus on the right, the right foods and eating the right things and, you know, drinking the, the right types of fluids and stuff like that. And you'll notice that you're, you're going to, you know, want and crave different things and you're not going to be so, you know, so, so, uh, your appetite's not going to, you know, be, you're not going to want all those sugars like mm-hmm. you, you once it did before, you know, and that those midnight cravings that a lot of people get as well. Yes. Oh my gosh. I definitely agree. I mean, um, yeah, I think I think it people get really overwhelmed with oh god, I got to get healthy, but like you said it's and and as I agree it's it's about the small steps and I think I think your body's really going to just take over and do the process for you once you just start a little bit at a time and that's really all it takes. And it's a step-by-step process. You know, mm-hmm. everybody, you know, in the United States, we all want quick fixes. You know, yes. we're all, everybody, so many people are so impatient and they want to see results right away. When it comes to the body, you can't see results right away. It's mm-hmm. a slow process. And, you know, your body's, you know, building with the changes that you're making. It's, you know, you you start, sometimes you don't see, you'll see small little changes in the beginning and then you'll start to see more changes as time goes on. But it's not all at once, you know. And if you do see quick fix changes, you know, like these amazing changes in such a short period of time, they're usually temporarily. Mm-hmm. And, they, you know, your body goes back to the way it was as soon as you, you know, put a few things in your mouth that were, you know, like your, your, the foods that you were eating before, you know. And, and it's, I don't like to use the word diet either. It's not a diet, it's no. a lifestyle change. Yeah, exactly. Because it's something you have to do continuously if you mm-hmm. want to maintain the way your body looks and the way you feel. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it it, you have to think of it from both sides. Like it wasn't an overnight that you went from being your youthful, healthy self to all of a sudden you're overweight and unhealthy. Exactly. It was, it was a series of micro, um, events that happened. You know, you, you didn't go to the gym one day or you decided to drive instead of walk a short distance. You, uh, right. um, you ate this unhealthy food and then you kept eating it and then you kept eating it and you didn't eat your the good nutrients for your body. And so I think that's, that's part of the educational process is you have to, we have to help people understand that it wasn't just an overnight transformation to get you to where you don't want to be. And it's not going to be an overnight transformation to get you where you do want to be. It's really a, a process. And that's, that's, I think the most might be the most daunting aspect sometimes, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you just have to, it's like with anything, when you want to reach a goal or when you want to climb that mountain, it's one step at a time. And it just, and, and especially when it comes to weight loss or something like that, it's just, you have to ex- celebrate the small wins and be excited exactly. about the journey itself not just the destination and sometimes people don't realize too is as you get older your body gets into its comfort zone and mm-hmm. there is actually you know there is a weight that your body feels comfortable and works well with and sometimes when you get to that point you're going to notice that it's really hard after that certain point to lose more weight and your body keeps going back to that number you might lose one or two pounds less and then all of a sudden you might you know you might go back to that pound you know certain weight you know and it's not about it's not about the numbers on the scale it's about how you look and how you feel mm-hmm. that's the main point 
You know, when you look in the mirror, are you happy with what you see? When you look in the mirror, are, are you content with the person you become? And how do you feel? Do you still have that energy? Because it doesn't matter what age you are. You can still get that energy. If you do the right things with your body and you're taking the right vitamins and you're eating the right foods, you're going to notice energy. Like I have a grandmother who's 86 years old. Sometimes she has more energy than I do. And it's how you take care of yourself. Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's all about taking care of yourself. Yes, I totally agree. I am once again nodding my head vigorously in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, this has been a fabulous conversation and I, I love what you offer. Um, and you actually have a, a, a free offer for our listeners. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Sure. It's my book, The Complete Herbal Guide. As I mentioned earlier, um, I had written a book. Um, it was a 500 page plus book about all different types of supplements, alternative methods, uh, and to explain to people, because you always hear someone talking about one supplement or one, you know, vitamin and this and that. And it's really hard to keep up, you know, because there's so mm -hmm. many different, you know, things out there, mm -hmm. you know. So I go over what all these supplements are, what they're about, and what type of conditions they actually might be able to help, and what illnesses they might be able to prevent so you get a really good idea it's like an encyclopedia of different types of herbs and alternative methods and it goes into the history it goes into you know ex explanation of what they are their descriptions the different precautions that you have to take because people have to remember too supplements are just as strong as medications and mm -hmm. a lot of times pharmaceutical companies put supplements in their medications mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. so you have to be careful when you take supplements too you have to make sure what if you're on medication, you have to make sure that that medication doesn't interact with those supplements. Yes. So you always have to be careful too. Like, you know, before you start grabbing things and taking things, be precautious and learn what is in these different vitamins or supplements and make sure you can take it and it agrees with your body and the medications you might be taking. And, you know, always ask your doctor too. If you're unsure, ask your doctor for medical advice. Say, hey, I really like to try this supplement. Is this, is, am I going to have a problem? You know, mm -hmm. you just want to make sure you, know, you don't have more problems. So, you know, and I explain this in the book and I go over the, you know, the different precautions. So people understand that, you know, that, you know, a lot of medications sometimes don't agree with certain supplements. Like a lot of medications for depression, epilepsy medications, um, you know, uh, heart medications, you know, high cholesterol medications. Some of those medications, you know, definitely have had um, interactions with certain supplements in the past. So yep. These are things you really want to be cautious of. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these are all the things I explain in my book. And I'm offering, um, you know, uh, a, a uh, giveaway right now so people can go on and they can sign up. And, you know, I'm going to be giving away um, an ebook of a of this, of this great information so people can learn more about these supplements and learn ways they can actually improve their health. Awesome. I'm so excited to tap into that resource and offer it for my clients as well. So thank you so much for that. Um, this has been a fabulous conversation and I really look forward to the listeners being uh, hearing this interview. Well, thank you so much for having me, and I, I really appreciate you, you know, letting me, uh, you know, explain all this stuff to your clients and to people out there, and, you know, it was a great time, you know, uh, being able to talk to you about all these great topics. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and I look forward to staying in contact. Oh, uh, same here. Thank you.